Twisty Twins. Today we're making batter and cooking it in two different ways. Let's get to it. So what is batter? Batter is bread and is seen all around North America. It came from Scottish fur traders and then was adopted by the indigenous people of Canada. It is a quick bread to make and is usually made in the wilderness. It is a really good recipe to take on hikes and camp trips as it is so easy to prepare and cook. Now on to making bread. Our first way to cook bannock is in the oven. And if you're going to use your oven, then preheat it to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Our second way to cook bannock is on the fire. You can use a fire pit if you have one, or you can use a gas stove top, but either way is fine. The ingredients for bannock are two and one fourth cups of all purpose flour, a half teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, three tablespoons of vegetable oil, one cup of water, and honey. You don't have to have an exact amount of honey as you can add as much as you want on your bag. So we're gonna get out our large bowl and we're gonna put in the flour, baking powder, and salt into it. And then we're gonna mix it until it's combined. So we're gonna put in our vegetable oil and then we're gonna put a little bit of water. We don't wanna put all the water in at the same time as it could be too sticky at the end and we want a uh, perfect consistency when we have the dough. So we switched to a spatula as the dough became bigger and it started to stick inside the whisk. So this is what our dough looks like after a few minutes of tossing and turning with the spatula. So now we can start mixing the dough better with our hands. If your dough is too sticky, you can add some more flour and mix it in. We are going to line our pan with parchment paper. So we're gonna get some of our batik dough and we're gonna place it on the pan. We want it to be about one centimeter thick and we're just gonna like flatten it. And so it's not like a pancake, but it's more like a waffle, except there are no syrup holes, of course. So we're only gonna make two as we're gonna use the rest for the campfire. Skip to this number if you're gonna use a campfire to cook your bannock instead of an oven. We are going to put our bannock in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes. Our bags came out of the oven. We cooled it down for 20 minutes um, and you should add honey to it as uh, there's no sugar added into the recipe. So we have our bannock here and we're gonna put it on a stick like this one. You can also just get like any twig. And now we're gonna place it on top of the fire. You don't wanna place it like at the fire, otherwise the stick will actually go on fire. So we're just gonna place it on the top and just let it cook. So we want the uh, sides of our bannock to be brown, but not like black, so that then you don't wanna burn it. You just want it to be cooked. Add some 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, share the video, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out. See you next time.